Mike D'Antoni, Stephen A., not on the Lakers bench just yet, but already we are seeing a different Lakers team. What's the most noticeable change that you've seen? Well, first of all, let me give praise to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, well-deserved six-time champion, six-time league MVP, deserves all that praise. Now to Mike D'Antoni and the Los Angeles Lakers. You can expect a more up-tempo style of basketball, a frenetic up-tempo pace, but at the same time, you know, where is that going to get you? In the Lakers' case, it's going to win you a lot of games during the regular season. It's going to entertain a lot of fans watching Laker basketball. Nobody has a question about that. you got Kobe Bryant, you got Dwight Howard, you've got Steve Nash and your squad, even though he's expected to miss about the first about another five games before he comes back. At the in the end of the day, the bottom line is you look at the Los Angeles Lakers and what are they going to do on the defensive side of the ball? That's the question mark right now. Mike D'Antoni has already put them on notice that somebody needs we need to be talked about, or I need to do something. Something needs to happen if we're not averaging 110 to 115 points a game. I'll give him that. But he said nothing about giving up about 105 to 110 points a game. And a, and a lot of people, in terms of the NBA circle, a lot of people believe that's a problem. We just saw in the video Mike D'Antoni on crutches still. He talked to the team pregame, then he went and got treatment on that knee. He is expected to be on the bench against the Rockets. And you bring up the defense, Stephen A. This Rockets team's got to be steaming over another time, overtime loss to the Blazers. James Harden, 29 points last night. He's now had 20 points in four straight games. What will the Lakers do to slow him down defensively? Well, they're going to have Kobe Bryant on them. They're going to have people like Meta World Peace helping out on them. James Harden is big time. And obviously being in Houston where he doesn't have to play the third wheel behind Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook in Oklahoma City, he's showing himself to be a big time basketball player, completely worthy of the $80 million contract that the Houston Rockets just gave him a few weeks ago. But the reality of the situation is, is that if you're the Los Angeles Lakers, you don't have much to worry about outside of James Harden. It's good that he's on the Houston Rockets with Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin be thanking his heavenly stars that he's got Harden as a teammate because he needs that kind of help. But at the same time, the Houston Rockets are not an elite team in this league right now. You got to put you got to pay attention to Harden. You want to respect some of the other players, but the person to fear is Harden. But again, if you've got the White Howard inside, then what you have to do is monitor and watch Harden in his perimeter game. And I think Kobe Bryant with Meta World Peace will contribute to trying to slow him down.